The Sidling Hill from Harry Collins of the Hardcore Core Group. It took me way too fucking long to actually fucking order this movie. I don't know why I fucking waited. I wanted it from when he announced it, but finances and shit at the time. And thank fuck, last month he found a few more copies and I was able to snag one. Because goddamn, the Sidling Hill is fucking dope. Now, it is a little different than what I was expecting, but different in a fucking great way. Uh, basically, it's about a dude with uh, PTSD after the Iraqi war, and uh, he's haunted by this image of one of his mates from the war that died and unfortunately had to be left behind. Um, that's not really a spoiler. It's fucking... You see the fucking guy right near the beginning, so... Calm your tits, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> and, uh, basically it's... I can't remember the character name, so I'm sorry, but... Harry's character... Uh, his wife and father-in-law... Heading to the Sidling Hill Tunnel which is an old abandoned tunnel in Pennsylvania. I think it's PA. And uh, on the way there, they encounter a pretty interesting group of fucking, uh, I guess, roadside hicks, for lack of a better term. Um, fucking dude chowing down on fucking deer roadkill and shit like that. It was pretty funny, but Harry gets out and very kindly asks them for directions. And they decide to be fucking cunts about it. Uh, so Harry has to persuade them for directions using a fucking gun. And he makes his way to the tunnel. After, the, um, after him being warned, don't go to that tunnel. It's not good. It's not safe. It's going to change you. Um, so they make it to the tunnel. And shit starts to happen. I ain't gonna go into too many details there. But, yeah. Once they hit that tunnel, man. Shit goes fucking sideways quick. Um, fucking great film. Uh, Tiffany Lasky. Mike Knapp. Uh, what does that say? Bob Frizzolovic. And Damon Robinson. Y'all did a fucking wicked job in this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are all the names there. Uh, this is the unrated cut. I think there's three different versions out. Uh, this is the two hour cut. And it really didn't seem like two hours. Now, admittedly, uh, there's one part that happened and I was like, oh, cool pretty cool ending check the time and I was an hour 35 in there was still 25 minutes to go so my bad there but even the following 25 minutes after what I thought was the ending they weren't disappointing and they were fucking cool actually and the shit that happens there lots of blood um, if you know Harry at all you know he doesn't skimp on the fucking blood and gore so fuck yeah Harry um, acting was pretty dope um, I know a lot of people like to shit on indie movies and saying acting sucks not here these guys fucking went balls to the wall for this movie and it shows you can feel the love they have for horror uh, and for filmmaking and that trumps any shortcomings in production and whatnot that the indie films have. If you've got heart, your movie's gonna be fucking good. And these motherfuckers, they put every fucking thing they had into this flick. And if this ever gets picked up for another distribution and you don't have a fucking copy, y'all need to correct that shit. Um, there's a VHS out of this. Um, 
I don't think there was a Blu-ray, just different cuts on DVD. Um, and there was one company, I can't remember who, but they did a whole box set with all the releases fucking combined. And that was pretty cool. Kind of wish I grabbed that back in the day, but like I said, finances were shit at the time. And thank fuck I got a copy now, is this shit was fucking awesome. You need this if you ever see one for sale in the groups on Facebook or whatever, or on eBay. The Sidling Hill, get that shit. Uh, Harry. Between this and fucking Keepsake. Keepsake right there. There's the disc art for Sidling Hill. But yeah, Keepsake, which is a short film. And this one, I can't fucking wait to see what you've got cooking, man. I've seen some of the fucking uh, sneak peeks you've given. And god damn, they look good and bloody, bud. Let's keep it going. And I think that's going to wrap up this fucking review. Thanks for fucking watching, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.